The wait is finally over. In this video, I'm going to share with everybody my secret sauce and what I have learned during my extensive research over the past week and a half, where we could earn in a legitimate way 20% of profits on every single trade, every single day, all day long, paid to us in Bitcoin, to our external Bitcoin wallet, whether that be any hardware device of your choosing ledger or treasure. Trust me, guys, you really do not want to miss this one. So let's go get it. <laughs> Quickly before we start, I just want to apologize for the poor lighting. As you guys know, I am still currently in the process of moving. I have moved, but I didn't organize everything just yet, so the lighting is a bit off. But we've been going about like a week and a half without content, and I did promise you guys this video, so I wanted to get this out there um, regardless. So let's get started. So how is this possible to make 20% every single day? paid in Bitcoin, okay? Sounds pretty fishy and sketched out. I understand that. But listen, guys, I've been practicing this for about a week and a half, two weeks. I know people who've already been doing this for months, and I know some people who's been doing it for about over a year, okay? So I know for certain it works 1,000%. If you follow this video in its entirety, I would guarantee that you will make 20% in profits every single day. You just gotta pay attention and listen to the steps involved. So, how is this possible to do this? Well, let me first jump into my computer and share my screen with you, and we're going to start off from there. So, we're at Paxville, which is the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace where we will be selling our Bitcoin at a premium, at a markup percent of whatever we choose. So, my sweet spot is pretty much 43%, and I'll get to that in a second. I know I've told you guys 20%, but it's actually 43%, and then when it's all said and done, we make a markup of about roughly 20 to about 23% paid in Bitcoin, okay? But first, you guys are probably thinking, well, I don't know, TCL, is Paxful a scam? Well, I just want to, like, get get those doubts out of your head one time, but I do recommend you guys do your own research. But I have already done my research, and I know that Paxful is 1,000% not a scam. As you can see right here, they just partnered with Binance, and this is actually coming from Binance.com, as you can see at the top left-hand corner here. This is not a random third-party website that's talking about this publication, okay? So here we go. Paxful and Binance announced strategic partnership to increase crypto ac um, access and liquidity global globally. So Binance is is never going to align themselves with a scam or if they think they're a scam so let's just get that you know out the way now this video is not really a full review on Paxville this video is a way on how to make money with Paxville I'll probably do a video review on them later on so let's get to the point at hand now in order to be a seller or a vendor you would have to be a US resident you could be from Canada or any European country. You all could be a seller. Now, if you don't fall under any one of those three categories, I really can't do much for you. That's just the rules here, okay? That's how Paxful operates in order to sell. And that's how we're going to make 20% profit in Bitcoin every freaking day, okay? And I'm going to show you guys some trades that I already opened up. So if you fall under one of those nations, you also would need to put up a 0.1 BTC bond in order to sell gift cards on Paxful. Now, if you are selling Bitcoin through, say, Interac um, Interac e transfer or bank wire or any other method you'll be okay you don't have to give up that 0.1 btc bond and you're not giving them that forever you could always get that book um get that back at your request now check this out why would anybody right come to paxville and want to pay a 43 percent markup well this is how they do it right so pretty much paxville they cater for the unbanked. So people from Africa who don't have the resources like documentation or ID or even say bank accounts to get onto the blockchain to own Bitcoin. So they got to resort to other means of resources such as Paxville. So over here, you would see, which we'll get to in a second, you're going to see that people are trading Amazon gift cards for a markup of 43%. Okay, I know I said we're making a markup of 20%, but you got to hear me out, all right? So 43%, and why? They're okay with that. They're willing to pay that markup just to get onto the blockchain because they got no other way to do it. Also, the other half of the crowd is pretty much people who... um. Who, who just want to remain anonymous. So a, a good way of getting onto the blockchain, um, remaining private or anonymously, will be to you know pay with a gift card because there's no identification needed. Hey, whatever. I, I really don't give a shit. For me, it's like I know how this space is. When I first got into this space, I also wanted to be private. I was using Bitcoin ATMs, but um, they got a very hefty fee, so I kind of like avoided that. So I can see where they're coming from, and I respect anonymity in this space as well. Now, before we move any further, you guys go use the Paxful 
link and sign up, okay? Listen to me. There's a learning curve to this, but once you get it, you're going to make money. So stop and pause this video right now and use the link in the description box to sign up to Paxville. And also, I'll leave the link in the comment section. You can check it out there. It should be the first pinned comment. Use that link and sign up right now. I actually reached out to the team at Paxville and I said, hey man, I love your service. I think it will serve my subscribers well. So let's have this, you know, affiliate going on. What do you guys got anything unique for us? So they did tell me that they will be able to give myself $5 and anybody who uses my link as well you guys would get five dollars worth of bitcoin hey it's all gravy i mean we're making freaking shit ton of money off the trades anyways but this is a um, definitely an extra incentive if you do use my link and i'm going to train you guys on how to make more money um using other methods as well it's pretty cool okay so how do you actually place a trade it's very simple so first things first we're going to come to our dashboards i'm just going to click dashboard and right here are the past offers i listed and right here as you can see my rate per btc um is fourteen thousand four hundred fifty nine dollars which pretty much works out to a 42.5% markup or profit, okay? So let me just go to the edit button. But in your case, if you wanted to actually make a new offer, you just gotta press um, that button that said um, create a new offer, okay? So here we are. We're gonna go for Amazon gift cards, which I already checked by clicking right here. Okay, and then I'm going to choose my currency, guys. It's very important that you guys choose US dollars when using Amazon gift cards, okay? We're going to click the next step. This is probably one of the most important parts, so pay very close attention here. Over here, we're going to put in our markup, okay, guys? So I am going to use a markup of, I find that sells quite often, is 43.5% or 42.5%. I've even sold, I think, at a 46%. But for this example, we're going to keep it there. And right here is our trade limits. So we're telling potential buyers, and there's a lot of them out there, that I I'm willing to sell you $20 worth of Amazon gift cards for my BTC at a 43% profit. So if they're going to give me a $100 card, I'm only going to give them about what? 60 6 percent or $67 worth of Bitcoin, so to speak. Okay, and they're going to give me a $100 card. Okay, guys. And from here, the maximum just for the, you know, you know, th these are very micro numbers. We're talking about $20, $150. Okay, but remember, I was just testing this myself. I'm going to jack that up to $1,000 pretty soon. Um, but anyhow, the maximum trade amount I'm going to accept is $150 um, worth of Amazon gift cards. Now, again, you know, you could do $2,000 if you wanted to on 20% of you know, 2,000 is what? 400 bucks. 20% of 1,000 is what? 200 bucks. Guys, money to be made here. Okay, I hope you're paying attention. And right here is a time limit. So what happens is we're going to get to that in a second. Um, so the moment someone sees my sell offer, let's call it, or my um, sell order, they click on it. My Bitcoin goes into an escrow right off the bat, okay? And there are some steps involved, which we're going to get to next, um, in which the buyer is going to have to prove to us that they paid for this in cash, okay, guys? So 30 minutes, it shouldn't take any more any more than that to complete this trade and go through the uh, steps needed to know that how this purchase is indeed legit paid in cash. Very important. We'll get to that step right now. Okay, so this part, guys, is very, very important. I hope you're still paying attention and taking notes because this is how you're going to make that money, okay? So it's very important to tell them that we want the card to be a physical card, not a digital Amazon gift card. Also, we're going to need the receipt, okay? This is a must. And also, a must is paid in cash. Now, guys, you, you all should know by now, there are scammers residing in the crypto space, whether that be on YouTube, whether that be in Telegram, or whether that just be anywhere, making websites, all this BS going on, okay? So, Paxful is no different. Not to say that Paxful is scammers, they're not, but... This is the, you know, this is part of the territory. You're going to come across and deal with scammers, right? Again, I'll use the example of Telegram, right? We know not to click phishing links. You know, we know not to do this, not to do that, not to give anybody Bitcoin, right? The same thing goes here. If you follow these steps, I guarantee you, you will be able to identify and filter out scammers. Now, in my past little trades, I think I did like about 10 or so, I have not come across any scammers or I, I, I can't really say that because all of my trades has been authentic because I am followed these steps 
physical card, receipt required, and cash. Why do I ask for a physical card? Well, these the gift cards that are pretty much electronically generated, or the e, um, what do they call them? The e cards, e gift cards, electronic gift cards. They have a long history of scammers, like you know, just printing fake numbers and what have you, claim codes, right? So with the physical cards, it's very hard to um, make those fraudulent. That's number one. Why do we want a receipt paid in cash? Very simple, because if they have a stolen credit card, they could use that stolen credit card to buy these physical gift cards and then give it to us. We claim it with Amazon, then Amazon is going to, you know, we're the ones getting the shit for that, okay? So this way, we know it's paid in cash. That can never happen to us. Nothing's going to ever fall back on us, okay? Um, now, this second column is pretty much my offer label. I'm just telling them, hey, once you do these steps and I have claimed this Amazon gift card in my amazon.com account which i'll show you guys in a second how to do very very cool stuff guys this is the real way to make money okay but let me don't get off a topic um this is the real way to trade bitcoin is what i meant to say so btc released instantly that's pretty much what i'm you know i just tell them that's what i'm going to do and the offer of the terms goes like this i'm going to clearly state my step-by-step -step instructions okay so card starting with aq only that is the official claim code for all amazon gift cards it begins with the letters a and q so i tell them that right off the bat i'm not accepting anything that does not have that number one it says to provide me a clear picture of the full receipt that was paid in cash along with the four digit serial number which matches the card on the receipt okay part two of my instructions is this once you have provided me the receipt i will ask you to provide me with a clear picture of the front and back of the card with no fingers or hands on the picture so pretty much laid down on a um, flat um, table or on the floor Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. Trade instructions, it's right here. It's pretty much what I already said here. I'm going to put that there. And verification, require your trade partner to have verified their email. To be honest, I don't care about that, right? Um, require your trade partner to have verified their phone. I don't care about that. Require your trade partner to have verified their ID. I don't care about that. Remember, if I check these boxes, that's me limiting my customers. Or that's me limiting people, which means I won't have... A high volume of people coming to my offer because they don't have you know their id registered or their email registered remember people are here because they want to be remain anonymous so just let them be anonymous it's not going to do anything to me it's not going to hurt my bank account it's actually going to give us more money right that's why they're using paxful either because they don't have the resources like a bank account or id or they just want to remain anonymous okay so let them be you're going to get more customers anyways all right um and once again if there are scammers scammers probably want to be anonymous but once again you follow these steps you will be able to mitigate that risk okay i can assure you that from there we're going to go to update offer in this case but normally it says to um post offer or something like that uh we click that that's when we know the offer is live ladies and gentlemen and from here you pretty much just wait for an offer and they come very frequently and i'm going to show you guys a visual a a, 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 a real use case or a real example on how this works so pretty much once you register, um, you give Paxville your phone, your phone number rather, and they will give you alerts telling you that people are viewing your offer or someone has opened a trade. So that means you got to come to your computer. You're going to hear your computer go ding, 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 ding. You're, you're, you're going to get a text saying, oh, you got a new trade. So right off the bat, my Bitcoin will be in escrow. And I must come to this chat and talk to this individual and we negotiate. They follow the instructions we just went over, okay? I hope you guys follow. Ah, don't update now. <laughs> but I hope you guys follow so far. So let's go to a real example. How does this actually look like once someone is interested in my offer, which there is a tremendous amount of interest. I'll show you guys this quick, st uh, quick stat right here. Uh, what am I doing? Right here in 2015, the platform, meaning Paxful, reported $5.9 million in USD trade volume, which has steadily increased by 25% over, um, I'm sorry, more year over year. At the close of 2017, they reported more than $500 million in USD trade volume, with 2019 tripling that number, closing more than $1.6 billion. So the reason why I bring that up is to show you guys that this thing is liquid and there's a tremendous amount of demand. There are, I don't even know the number, but I believe there's something like 7,000 sellers or vendors when there are millions of people looking to buy Bitcoin at a premium and they don't mind. Um, I don't got my wallet here, but I was going to do this. So they got their wallet in their hand saying, I'm willing to give you an Amazon gift card at 43% profit or 40% markup for your Bitcoin. Do you got it? 
all right and i'm going to show you guys what i mean so check this out so this is coming from this is a trade right coming from a guy called kubing pinging whatever from ghana Okay, location Ghana. And it says here, the escrow automatically took my Bitcoin. And it says, the buyer is paying 30 USD for 0 0.002071 Bitcoin, which is about $21 USD worth of Amazon gift cards. Okay, um, $21.81 is now an escrow. It is now safe for the buyer to pay. So he followed my instructions. Hi, hi, blah, blah, blah. I asked him for a picture of the receipts. Okay, guys. And as you guys can see here, it is sideways. But um, as you guys can see right here, cash, $30. Okay. That's why I know he paid this in cash. But it's very important to look at the date, which says February 14th, which was the same day um, this trade took place and the time 1040. Okay. So now I know this guy did pay with cash on February 14th. Now, if I see a receipt that's older than five days, I probably won't mess with that, but it still may be legit. But once again, I don't want any problems with Amazon, which we'll get to in a second, okay? Um, so right off the bat, I know this guy did pay with cash. We know it's not with a stolen visa. So right there, boom, boom. This so far seems to be a legit card. So from there, he shows me a picture of the back of the card. I actually asked for a picture of the front of the card just to make sure it says, you know, Amazon on it or what have you. But um, when you once you get more experience, this should be good enough. So what you're looking at right here is called the claim code, okay? This is what you're going to pretty much manually type in. Or what I do is I just have the Amazon gift, sorry, the Amazon app here, and I could scan this barcode. So I use my phone, I open it up, and I scan the barcode to see if this is legit after verifying that it was paid in cash by looking at the receipt. Now, once I do that and I scan the, uh, sorry, I scan the barcode, it goes automatically to my Amazon.com account claimed. That's when we know Amazon already verified that this gift card is indeed legit, okay? Now, going back to those um those numbers I was telling you, where is it here? 7478, right? And then we go like this. Oh, uh, shoot, that was in the known. Yeah, right here, 7478 boom verified okay even without claiming the card i already know this is 1000 percent legit paid in cash um he has the receipt and it's actually for that card right 747 it is verified okay guys now what happens with that trade is all i gotta do is um once i i scan that i'm gonna show you my gift card balance right here this is my amazon.com account and i have a balance right now of 125 dollars which i I pretty literally, not pretty much, I literally paid 43% less for this, okay? And you guys are probably thinking, well, TCL, that's good and everything, but I want to make money with this. I just don't want to get, you know, what's the point of, of, of trading Bitcoin for Amazon gift cards at 43%? At some point, you're going to run out of Bitcoin, right? That's true, but guess what? We're, we're not about that. We're not about that consumer lifestyle, right? We're not shoppers here. We're about that crypto lifestyle. We're businessmen. So I'm going to show you guys how to do better things with that Amazon gift card. And what I mean by that is how are we going to turn that Amazon gift card into Bitcoin? I'm going to show you guys that right now. There's a company called IPayU.io. Boom! Okay, guys. First and foremost, once you already use the Paxful link, Use the IPU link in the description box below, okay? That is my link. Yes, there's an affiliate site, whatever. I make like, I think it's a dollar or something off of it, whatever. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. But this company, what they do is they turned gift cards into Bitcoin, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, well, TCL, is this a scam? How do I trust them? Let me show you guys something, okay? This is not a scam. In my vigorous research, I have already researched them inside out, okay? I'm gonna show you guys two things. First of all, number one, the CEO who is Gene Kavanagh, he is a former Amazon executive from the affiliate program, okay? Now, why is that big? Well, Amazon has the most lucrative affiliate program that is online. So, if you ever go on YouTube and you see people doing tech reviews on like, I don't know, headphones, and like, you know, these microphones and like, you know, digital cameras. I like, oh, my affiliate link's in the bottom and it takes you to Amazon. This gentleman, Gene Kavner, the CEO of IPU is responsible for that. Um, it is mentioned here as well. Uh, where are we? It is somewhere here. Amazon, Amazon. Um, you guys could check it out. I, I've already done this. 
right here um affiliate right here worldwide director amazon associates amazon.com sure anyone could put anything there i took it a little you know i took a step further and i contacted them and in this email check what i told them i said here Hello, I am considering making a review on your services. I'm still in research process. Can you tell me how long your business has been running for? I just want to make some, uh, make sure your company is sound and legit. Thank you. And guess what they told me? They thought I was a scammer. That's how legit they are. Check what they said here. Hi, Francis. If you would kindly please email us the domain of, um, of your site rather than a Gmail website, we would appreciate this. Um, it is our way to make sure you are representing your publication. Have a great day. Okay, so pretty much the people at IPAU told me that how look if you are indeed who you say you are email us from your website Okay, guys, um, I use Gmail all the time I actually have a website, but the email isn't hooked up because I'm perfectly fine with using my Gmail long story short They gave me a number to call them. It's freaking. Where is it right here? It says to call us at one four two five 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 three two six six four okay guys so these guys are essentially located in washington state i spoken to their customer service rep alex you guys call them give them all the shit in the world ask all the questions in the world i don't care do what you gotta do okay i already got that out the way i know it's not a scam so let's move on how do we turn this Amazon gift cards into Bitcoin? I'm actually going to do a live example for you guys, okay? So let me log in right now. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm logged in and everything, guys. And they do offer a couple of other services, but I'm going to show you guys how to change that gift card into cash, okay? Before I do that, I forgot to mention. Now, there is a small risk here if you mess up, okay? Meaning, I've heard people tell me that how Amazon have suspended their accounts only because of this reason, okay? If you follow these steps you will not get your account suspended okay but there is a risk that this will happen okay so i just want to let you guys know that right off the bat so amazon pretty much will suspend your account if you're using amazon gift cards to buy digital or electronic gift cards although amazon allows us to do this and i have personally called amazon.com and asked them three times from three separate customer service reps i said hey look am i allowed to use amazon gift cards to buy other gift cards on amazon and they told me yes you cannot buy amazon gift cards with amazon gift cards and i don't recommend doing that you're going to put yourself in a risk of getting your amazon account um suspended and even banned in some cases all right so let that be known so right here on i pay you this is how the process works for a, for a 100 dollars gift card i send them that comes directly from amazon they're going to give me 80 dollars worth of bitcoin okay if i give them a thousand dollars they're going to give me 800 dollars worth of bitcoin but remember guys we got this gift card at 43 percent profit i forgot to mention there's a lot of information to take in guys normally i got my script and i work from that but this is off the top of the head um Paxville takes a 2% um, fee when, when dealing with gift cards only. Other methods, are, it ranges 1%, 0.5. But with gift cards, Paxville takes 2%. If I'm selling this at 43 point or 42.5%, 2% is gone from Paxville right off the bat. That's okay. I'm still up 40%. Now, I'm going to show you something here. I pay you for a $100 card. They're going to take off 15%. So for a $100 card, they're going to give me $85 worth of Bitcoin. Guys, I am still up about 25%. You see what I'm saying? Because if 2% comes from Paxville, I'm off left with um, um, 40%. That leaves me with 25% if it's a 15% markup on IPAU's um, end. And I'm going to show you guys. I know it sounds confusing, but please don't get confused. And by the way, I'm going to open a very special and unique Telegram chat only for those people who use my Paxville link and who are serious about making this money because I'm making the damn money. And I'm going to show you guys too. And by the way, this is one of four unique ways I have tapped into to make money. There's other ways that could put money into your bank account and then you you buy more bitcoin and you sell it at a premium and do that process all over again exciting times guys but we're just dealing with amazon.com right now okay so let's start that process so once you log into your ipu account and guys once again use the link in the description box and in the comment section all you got to do is this we're going to go to earn bitcoin okay and i'm going to choose best buy physical cards i'm only dealing with physical cards 
e-gift cards, I can make another video on that, but I think those are a little bit more risky in terms of Amazon only because I heard this from people. So we're only dealing with physical cards. So let's click on best buy physical cards. Okay. Once I'm here, it's going to tell us which card do you want to send us a $50 card, a hundred, a 200, 250. I think I had about $125 of Amazon gift cards that I've gotten at a 43% as well, rather from a 40% discount, right? If we take off Paxful's 2% fee, pretty damn awesome, okay? So let me go back here. Okay, so I'm gonna choose 100. And what this is gonna do is, um, it's gonna direct me to my Amazon.com account. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. Uh, where are we right there? Okay, this is very important to note. Once you guys get to this point, they're gonna ask you for your custom BTC address. I have given them my Paxful account, why? Because this, I'm treating this like a business, guys. This is not me speculating on the price of Bitcoin and have to worry about the market going up and down. I'm not competing against the market. If you guys are doing that, you're gonna get screwed. You're an idiot, you're gonna lose money, you're gonna get wrecked. I am actually just negotiating with another guy. So it doesn't matter if Bitcoin goes up or down, I'm still good, okay? Anyhow, so I have given them my Paxful account because once they pay me, which they will give you, once they receive the physical card from Amazon, they will pay you Bitcoin to your custom address um, on that same day, anytime before 11 p.m. Pacific time. And I've already got my Bitcoin from them, okay? Um, exactly how I just explained. So from here, I'm gonna go to, go to amazon.com to purchase. So you guys can see right here, it says, this is my Amazon account, okay? And I'm gonna go continue. And from here, I'm gonna go to proceed to check out one item, just like we would do on any Amazon freaking, you know, when we're buying anything from Amazon. Uh, okay, so right here it says, most recent news, I am gonna use IPAYU's gift card registry. Okay, so this means they are a, they have a registered address on Amazon. So I didn't have to plug that in. I'm just going to use that. Use this address. Okay, um, you can leave a fucking message if you want. We don't leave no message. You can wrap it up as a gift, but you know we're not going to do that here. Okay, and this is the important part. Right here, I can use my credit card. I'm not going to use that, right? Because we're making the money with the gift cards. I'm going to use a hundred dollars for my 125 um, gift card balance and apply that there. Oh sure, sorry not apply that there. I just have to click the box and then use this payment method. Now we're going to need Amazon Prime for this because that's going to cut us costs, right? That's more costs that we're cutting. We don't have to worry about Amazon, you know, delivery fees and all that crap. So get Amazon Prime because we're doing this every single day. You might as well get it. You're going to save that shipping cost, okay? So once you have Amazon Prime, we're going to do shipping tomorrow by February 20th, okay? Because we want this to get there as soon as possible to IPU so they can release us our Bitcoin payment. Um, we're talking about cash flow. We want to be able to have enough Bitcoin to serve the demand on Paxwell, okay? Because if you go through days when you're dry, you're going to miss out on sales and, um, you know, that's not um, ideal for anybody. Okay, so click that there. We're going to go to place or Order. As you can see here, tomorrow, February 20th, I'm going to go place order. Wait for that to kick in. And it says, thank you, your order has been placed. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to show you all a couple of other things right here before we move on. So, as you can see, this was a gift card that I've sent off to IPU already. Okay. So, um, I can track the package. And it'll see here, it's delivered to IPU. Now... I pay you has already given me my Bitcoin. And yes, I know we're talking about $100 or $80 worth of Bitcoin, but I don't give a shit. I'm talking about making money here, right? Um, and this is a very small example for, you know, my research purposes. I'm obviously going to scale it up. And actually, you know what? I mean, if you guys got $1,000 to work with or $2,000, you are making good money. And let me tell you, people are going to be asking for your offers. And I've only been testing micro offers here, anything from $25 to $150. And there's other strategies we could talk about. I'm going to share that with people in my private Telegram chat. Um, and those who actually join my Paxful Telegram chat as well, okay? Message me if you're interested and I will... You know, I will uh, manually bring you into that Paxful chat. Now, guys, this, this is something that you need to understand. Okay, let me explain something to you. 
Once this process repeats itself and you're continuously, it actually works out to a 26.5% markup if you use this method, okay? And I'm actually gonna bust out a calculator. So my markup is at 43.5%, right? That's how much I'm selling uh, my Bitcoin to get this Amazon gift cards, right? So from there, um, Paxville minus 2% because they charge me a 2% fee, okay? Now, if we choose this route here, which is best buy $100 card at 15% market rate surplus meaning i pay you is going to charge us an additional 15 percent we're okay with that because we're still banking some good coin so let us deduct minus 15 percent gives us a whopping 26.5 percent worth of bitcoin pay to us directly to our paxful account where we could repeat the process and scale up more and more and more obviously again i keep repeating myself you have more money you're going to make more money more profits just like any other business okay guys but the most important take back from all of this is this think about this guys you will always forever have Bitcoin, that's always going to grow up at a 20% rate. And not only that, you're always going to have Amazon gift cards at a 43% rate. So what would you want to do with that? I don't know. What could you get on Amazon? You could get any freaking thing. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I want to buy diapers at a 43% discount or even at a full 26.5% discount or you know, food, what I would do is I would use my Amazon gift card and get a whole full full foods card gift card and pretty much go buy groceries at a 43% markup. Okay. Or if you're using the Bitcoin it's 25%, but be smart. If you actually want to, you know, spend this on bills or spend this on say like um, anything with Amazon, like groceries or anything man amazon you could get everything delivered to your damn home okay i know people that get toilet paper delivered from amazon right to their door okay so you could get that at a markup instead of using your hard cold cash this is what we're talking about living that crypto lifestyle baby okay i just don't have that name because it sounds cute okay we we the name of this channel is called the crypto lifestyle for a reason because we be fueling our lifestyle with cryptocurrency to live a life of independence and freedom you gotta hack the system man everything is 1000 percent legit i've called amazon.com they said we could use amazon gift cards to buy other gift cards i pay you 1000 percent legit i've spoken with these people i've researched them reddit freaking subreddit threads all legit um yeah uh what do you call it um paxville 1000 percent legit guys there is no reason for you not to be able to make freaking money here 26 percent trades or even 20 percent trades so listen i'm going to leave it as that there's so much more information and i'm going to share with you guys in future videos three other methods for you to make money with bitcoin and paxville outside of amazon gift cards that will provide you a 20 percent markup straight cold hard cash to your bank account and you can do whatever you want with that one if you want to just pay your mortgage bills you want to do whatever it's your money you do whatever you please or you could scale the business and make the business grow even bigger like what i'm going to do okay guys so hey i hope this video made sense if it doesn't holla at me on telegram you know i'm always there for you guys and i will be opening up my own private paxville chat guys it's time to make money all you need is a damn phone even you don't even need a computer internet connection and some bitcoin and you're going to make your own yourself your own bitcoin business like I'm doing, like people have been doing for years, man. I'm super excited. 80% of my content is going to be about Paxville and my progress with Paxville. So you know what, guys? There really isn't much left to say other than until the next video, you're on your own. Later. Baby, it's the crypto lifestyle. I'm about to sun you fake, boys, I give my child. You ain't lit, bro. You can't be winning hits, bro. You don't deserve your subs like crazy said crypto. You still working for money, it ain't for you. Check the crypto lifestyle, teach you what you should do. Want the best content first, and I got something for you. Yeah, just posting the same shit, pretending it's something new. I should get fouled and buff because you don't know the facts. You scared to put your face in videos, you ugly and fat. It's the crypto lifestyle, baby, live without rap. There's lots of y'all that's wanting me, that's why I get it like that.